For this week on the Modified World, I delve into the world of biohacking. So stay tuned. So welcome to the Modified World, the weekly web show about body modification, the people who do it, the people who get it, and why it matters. I am your host, the senior piercer at the world-renowned Pangea Piercing and the purveyor of the internet wackiness that you all have come to know and accept. That's right, I'm JC Potts, and this week I'm hanging out with my buddy Emil Grafstra from the company Dangerous Things, the leading purveyors of RFID implantable technology for human beings. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I'm glad you were able to make it all the way out from little old us. <laughs> Definitely, it's pretty cool out here. Well, first off, first off, what exactly are we talking about here when we say RFID? Okay, so RFID is an acronym that stands for Radio Frequency Identification. And all it is, it just means that there's something that can be identified through radio waves. And either that's um, like electric field transmissions, like, um, you know, old radar. Today, RFID is used to just identify things. So, pallets of stuff, you know, shirts on a rack. Yeah, most of your most of your anti theft tags at yeah. this point are RFID tags. Exactly. So anti theft tags, you'll see them, they got the little loops and mm -hmm. it says please cut out of the thing for wearing. Um, so they use that for asset management as well as anti theft. Mm -hmm. So it's got a little serial number and they know, okay, I got ten shirts and they're on the rack and they kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but now you know you know you see these access cards, uh, people with badges they can get into buildings and whatnot. Um, so those are like commercial applications for RFID and now, um, you know, hobbyists can, can start using it in their own projects and start building stuff for their own homes and doors and computer logins and that kind of thing. So um, that, that started to become a reality with these cheap reader boards and kind of these kits. And, uh, and we said, well, why can't, you know, I think that's awesome. I don't want to use the card, though. I want to be able to kind of have all the convenience of biometric identification which is based on your know, fingerprints or iris scans, uh, but with the reliability and cheapness of RFID. So this was the, you know, basically the answer. Mm -hmm. Implantable. Implantables, which we like that, of course. Yeah. You know, so, well, especially for guys like me who, you know, lose their keys at least three times a week, <laughs> which honestly is one of the biggest interesting things to me, but that also brings important questions. Yes. Okay, so say a fellow goes out and Gets a, gets a chip put in his hands, well, and then converts his door to where you can just do the little scan thing and pop it open. Yeah. Well, what's to keep somebody from, you know, like cloning your number and mm -hmm. making a card where they can just swipe and get into your, sure. your house? So RFID is not very powerful when it comes to security and cryptology right now. Um, there are a few exceptions, but it's not common. So. The, the fact of the matter is the security of RFID is, is a problem, but the, the, the context that you use it in, is uh, it, it matters. So in a personal use context, uh, particularly for implants, the range of the implant is very, very low compared to a car that you carry in your wallet. Okay. Your wallet's in your back pocket, somebody can sneak up behind you real easy and get that, but when you're walking and your hands are moving, you know, somebody would have to really get in there. And, and you know, it'd be very obvious that they're trying to get something out, out of here, you know. Unless the government did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But, 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 they, but hey, look, these are serious questions, though. Yeah. What about? Has there been any kind of, I don't know, health interests or anything like that, like concerns? Well, I mean, for for this area of the hand where kind of we suggest that it go. Uh, no, I haven't had any reports of any breakage, rejection, infection, anything. Um, a couple people have put it in other places in the hand or in other place in the body, and some of them didn't work out. Mm -hmm. um, but um, that's you know that was their own choice to do that. You recommend putting them right in this area between the index and, and uh, thumb. So just uh, and there's a little guide on kind of how to place it, orient it. But yeah, I mean once again, don't necessarily try this at home. <laughs> yeah. Well, go to, go to a professional. Yeah. 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 Uh, so anyway, yeah, no nerve bundles or anything in that area. The medial and radial nerve go around it, and it's perfectly squishy. So that's what about the size of a grain of rice? A little bit bigger. It's two millimeters in diameter cylinder uh, mm -hmm. by twelve millimeters. Yeah. So what? Twelve gauge by almost half inch. Yeah. 
like a 12 gauge half inch barbell without the balls. Yeah. So that's really not all that bad. But so what all can you actually do with these things? Well, um, pretty much anything that's uh, you know identification based. So that always comes back to access control. What can I do with it that's basically replacing any method or augmenting any method that's going to need my authorization. So I get into a fire safe, I can start my motorcycle, get into the car, get into the house, log into the computer. Can you unlock your phone with it? Uh, yeah, this one is a high frequency tag that works uh, with NFC now enabled phones. So you, know, you pop it on there and unlock it. Uh, but it works with the phone and you can still use it for all those other access control things like logging into the computer and getting in your house. Interesting stuff. Well, we're going to get some demonstrations, actually. I want to see, see, because I'm one of those visual people. Part of why I do this whole video series is because I'm very visual and I like to see examples of stuff. But luckily, Amo actually brought some things with him that kind of show exactly what we're talking about. You mind if we yeah. grab that? Yeah. All right, so. Let's see, what do we got here? So okay, this is the uh, access controller. It's the EM4200 access controller. Uh, just a very simple thing. It's very cheap, uh, simple solution. So uh, this is the box where all the brains are. Mm -hmm. And we got the antenna, which is separate from the box, which is actually kind of convenient. You can place it where you need to. This box can be under your dash. This can be up by the window, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And just an LED, a little light that lights up and an authorized tag is put up to it. So how it works is pretty simple. Uh, Got power here. So I'm going to present my tag to it, and it's going to say, see it as an authorized tag. Mm -hmm. So once it does that, this little white wire goes 12 volt positive. So if you put a tag that's not authorized, nothing happens. But I'll put my tag, it'll go positive, it'll power up this little relay and this uh, capacitor. And the strike right now, this would a general door strike, just goes in your, in your uh, you know, door frame. Uh, so it's locked. I present the tag. No. Nice. It's unlocked. Nice. Yeah. So pretty simple. Come to a master tag. So this master tag is how you program it and deprogram it. Mm -hmm. So you hold this here for uh, 10 seconds or so, and we'll chat. And then it clears all the tags out of the memory. And this mm -hmm. thing will hold about 20 or 30 tags if you wanted to have as many people <laughs> tags to be able to get in. Mm -hmm. So now you present the tag, nothing happens. Master tag, present the tag, remove, and then Oh nice! Yeah. So now if I want to add more tags, just swipe it, new tag, swipe it, new tag. So this is a fairly easy thing to just introduce into any kind of thing that has a circuit. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, electric strike to the door. Um, I use it for starting a motorcycle. Yeah, master kill switch. All that stuff, yeah. Nice. So pretty straightforward and, and cheap, too. It's not, uh, it's not 100 bucks or anything. It's, that retails for about 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Yeah. It's less than the cost of a bag of weed. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So that was my show this week. I hope you learned something, possibly entertained. If you wanted to know more about RFID implants and you, you can check the links in the description down below. And be sure to leave me happy comments. Stuff that lets me know that you're paying attention and that you care. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to. You don't want to miss any videos. Besides, it helps me out a little bit. And it doesn't cost anything. And we all like that. And of course, be sure to stop back by next week for another episode of The Modified World.